Welcome back. Modern anxieties known as bank anxiety, the fear of inflation or phone anxiety, fear of being without your phone may sound silly, but these are very real feelings. Psychologists say these terms help validate your feelings so you can better manage your worries. Abby Black from our sister station, San Diego, investigates the phenomenon. A new anxiety management app that tracks in real time came up with some names of modern anxieties. The top three that you might be able to relate to, bank anxiety, what's going to happen to your bank, or the cost of living, play anxieties when you don't want to make even the simplest of plans, or the anxieties when you're really worried about America's future. Um, I think we have all experienced some negative feelings that arise when these notifications come up on our phone. Dr. Vanji Acreage is a licensed educational psychologist in San Diego. She says anxiety is not a one size fits all. Most people experience anxiety, but they have different triggers. Well, if you are able to identify like it is this thing, like it is these particular notifications that are triggering my anxious feelings, then you can make a plan to let's turn off those notifications. Or There's other anxieties that you may be able to identify. How about fang anxiety? It's when you obsess about how your favorite team is doing. Climb anxiety is when you worry about climate change and the future of the planet. Then there's crank anxiety, and it comes from reading conspiracy theories and crazy posts. Tank anxiety happens when you see too many pictures from war zones like Ukraine. Scam anxiety is the very real fear that a lot of scammers are online waiting to trick you. Ping anxiety is receiving overwhelmingly numbers of messages. But what about Titan anxiety? It's the worry over how tech titans are going to mess things up next. Choice anxiety is the paralyzing fear of making a decision online. And phone anxiety, weirdly, is the fear of losing your phone, even though it's responsible for a lot of these anxieties in the first place. These anxieties are very real. Acreage says some level and anxiety is healthy, but if we recognize the triggers, we can better overcome worries that ownership, that awareness, and then, of course, taking some real action. And a few that might have been left off, gas anxiety, anxiety when we're anxious about gas prices or rising gas prices, COVID anxiety, the fear of COVID, or traffic anxiety, the stress of sitting in traffic. Doctors say the idea is that when we give these feelings a name, we can better manage our worries.